This fall, the Cumberland County Public Library and Information Center is hosting a reading and discussion series with the theme, Altered Landscapes, North Carolina's Changing World. The library's Kelsey Edwards and Sana Mulder introduce us to the five thought-provoking books and invite you to join the discussion at your Cumberland County Library. The Let's Talk About It book discussion series is funded by the North Carolina Humanities Council to promote reading and discussion in the community. This is the fifth time that the library has done the series. It has been very successful in the past, um, probably for um, several reasons. The first reason is the books are usually highly readable. Um, people enjoy them. Um, another reason is because of the scholars that they choose to discuss the books. Uh, generally, they do uh, work at a university or community college uh, in North Carolina, and they come and they know a lot about the books, so they're able to facilitate the discussions very well. Um, we're also very excited because um, one of the scholars was actually in the town when um, the book that's actually a true story happened. So we're excited about that. Uh, another reason is the library is a comfortable place to facilitate these discussions. People feel comfortable and don't feel like they're in a college class you know, and will be um, punished if they have the wrong answer. It also doesn't hurt that we have um, refreshments as well. The theme for this Let's Talk About It discussion series is Altered Landscapes, North Carolina's Changing World. All of the books are set between 2003 and 2007. Um, the books are all set in small towns where there's change coming. In North Carolina, um, we're going from a rural landscape to a little bit more of an urban landscape and everyone is not always pleased with that, so we'll see how these changes affect the characters in the books. The first book is Salt by Isabel Gruber. Um, it charts the life of Anna Bailey. Um, she is a, a southern woman in a rural town who decides to marry a farmer instead of uh, following her dreams of education and travel. Um, this book is set at the turn of the 20th century, so this sounds like an interesting book. The second book, Garden Spells, by Sarah Addison Allen, tells the story of the Waverly Sisters, who tend a special garden with fruit that tells the future. Uh, this is also set in a small town, and we need to see what changes come their way. The third book, If You Want Me to Stay, by Michael Parker, has two brothers who go in search of their mother after she has left them and after their father has faded into insanity. In the fourth book, this is the memoir of, uh, there's four books that are um, novels and one memoir. So this is the memoir. Um, Blood Done Sign My Name is by Tim Tyson. Um, and it's the true story of a young black man in 1970s Oxford, North Carolina, who is killed by um, three white men. And this causes a lot of violence and racial tension. This is the book I was talking about that we're really excited about the scholar coming because he was um, in the town and um, knew a lot about what was going on. He was not involved in the trial, but he knew a lot about what was going on. And our last book is Plant Life by Pamela Duncan. Um, Laurel Granger is the main character in this novel. She returns to her hometown after her marriage ends and her life is falling apart. Um, she enjoys coming back to sm small town life um, because it teaches her lessons about forgiveness, friendship, family, and freedom. The discussions are facilitated by people who are considered experts in their field. The Humanities Council does a great job of finding us interesting, knowledgeable speakers. Out of the four speakers that are coming for this event, two of them actually have PhDs and all four of them are published authors themselves. Typically what happens is once people come in and sign in, the speaker will do a short biographical lecture and discussion on the topic of the book, the writer, the setting, and that kind of thing. We break for refreshments, which includes really good cookies, and then everybody comes back in the room and we discuss, the questions come up. The field is open, there are no right or wrong answers, but we do ask that people remember to be civil and respectful. We, we don't want any infighting at one of these.
Our average attendance has been growing. This is the fifth one that we've done, and we started out with an average of 12 or 13 people, and the next time it's like 14 or 15, and the next time after that it was like 20 and 21, and then this very last one that we did, we were averaging about 28 people are bringing their friends, their spouses, their neighbors. We have people come from neighboring counties. It's really been great as it's been getting more interesting and people really enjoy the discussions. All of the discussions are going to be held at the headquarters library in the Pate Room. And they, we do one book every two weeks, so the discussions will start on September 12th with SALT by Isabel Zuber, and the last discussion will be November 7th with Plant Life by Pamela Duncan. Um, typically what happens is people can put the books on hold and come in and pick them up, and then they check out the next one when they leave the first discussion. All of the discussions begin at 6.30 on a Thursday evening. Anyone can attend these discussions. Um, we do recommend that you register just so we make sure that we have enough seating. And while it is open to anyone who wants to come, we do try and remind people that these are adult books with adult themes. So make sure you keep that in mind if you're going to bring someone along with you. There is no charge for any of the discussions. People can register either by calling one of the libraries, by going to our website online, or by stopping at any branch. It's also important to remember that you don't need to be a member of the Cumberland County Library in order to do one of these. We, we don't require that. You don't even need to borrow the book from us if you already have a copy or you've bought one. If you do want a copy of the book, please remember to ask for it when you register or just go online and put a hold on it. We're, we're, bar we're very fortunate with the North, the North Carolina Humanities Council. The projects are funded between the Humanities Council and the Friends of the Library. They also receive funding from the National Endowment for the Arts, which is a federal agency. And uh, the council provides the scholars and they loan us copies of the book so that we don't have to go out and buy 35 or 40 copies of the same novel. The scholars' travel expenses and refreshments are covered by the Cumberland County Friends of the Library. The Friends of the Library receive the majority of their funding from membership drives and book sales. It's a worthy organization to join. It's not terribly expensive, and you end up help promoting things like this for our community. Okay. Um, it's the finding information about this is pretty simple. You can visit our website. Right now we have online a synopsis of the first book. So you can go in there and at that point you can register for the program as well as request a copy of the book. You can also call us at 483-7727 extension 1345. You can email us. There's a link to the, uh, in the description for an email link if you want more information. These are a great series. It's, it's a great way for people to get together. It fosters a sense of community, we think, because the, many of the people in the room, they don't know each other when the discussions start and they're friends by the time it ends. And you get to see other people's points of view and how other people think. And in a day and age when everything is so divisive and so angry, it's kind of nice sometimes just to sit back and be friends. <laughs>